day before New Year's Eve, and today I'll be going out for brunch with my good friend Timmy. But before I go out, I've got a big, big dilemma I need to resolve. I'm actually having a serious dilemma. You know, I'm going out today for brunch mm -hmm. with Timmy. Mm -hmm. And I do not have the foggiest as to what I'm wearing. Oh, this is dilemma. Yeah, big, big one. Like, well, I don't have a clue as to what I'm going to wear today. Every day is an opportunity to look good, and I cannot waste any opportunity not doing so. You wear those covers. Which ones? The ones of yesterday. I don't repeat clothes, and those were a once in a lifetime, you know, occurrence. What did happen yesterday? She saw them. Harry was so proud of herself yesterday. She was like, oh my god, like, this is how you should be dressing. You look like all these Instagram buddies and all the <laughs> ones. I'm like, that's not the vibe. I actually don't want to be looking like an Instagram buddy. Like, because I feel like, no offense, but. They're all dressed the same. I don't want to dress mm -hmm. the same as everybody else. So that's not really my vibe, but I just feel like it was a good experience to be pushed out of my comfort zone and to try something new. But to say that this is now going to be my new style, I'm going to be doing this more often, it's a complete lie. Like, I like cargoes, but not to that extent. Those are cargoes on a different level. Like, different, like multiple heads can be fit inside that trouser. Yesterday's collaboration with Heavenly showed me that there's more exciting stuff that I could be doing with my fashion. So it's looking like Making some additions to my closet is going to be my next investment. That outfit is not inspiring my today's outfit. So what are we going to do? Because I have about just over an hour to get ready and leave. What am I going to do? What am I actually going to wear? Because it's just not coming to me. I don't know what I'm going to wear. Hmm? I told you I had that black jumper in with cargoes and those are my really nice colourful trainers, multicolored trainers. Let's but, admit they're really nice, but yeah. But they are. They're to like you. staples. Drag. Staples is a drag. Statement? No. Yes, not staples. Following yesterday's experiment, today's outfit is just feeling a bit underwhelming. So, yeah, this is what I'm thinking to wear. Mm -hmm. Then, I'm going to pair with this, just to at least brighten up the look. But I feel like, yeah, following yesterday's outfit, it has shown me that I can do more you with can. my, honestly, because, yeah. yeah, I think yesterday really highlighted that there's more we can do, and I think that's I'm not too excited with what I'm wearing today. Right now, I'm arriving at brunch with Temi. <laughs> I'm quite proud of myself of the steps I've taken to you know, get to where I want to get to, do you understand? Because even before I was so, um, I was allowing this myself, oh, what other people going to think, what other people going to receive, get in the real, or what I want to do, or the things that I saw myself to, and all the ones. Whereas this year, I don't know where it is, my, my confidence has just skyrocketed, and I'm just like, whatever I need to do to get to wherever I need to go, where, where I want to go, I'm going to do it, and nothing's going to stop me. Tim and I have been good friends for a while now. So we formed a friendship where there's not much we don't tell each other. So right now there's some things that I want to discuss with her and get off my minds. I feel like here, yeah, where age where a lot of us are talking about relationships. <laughs> where age where a lot of us are talking about relationships. I feel like everywhere I go to now, that's at the top of everybody's like lips. Oh relationships, what is your take on relationship? Are you in a relationship? You... And I just feel like for me personally, how do I feel about it? I feel like I'm not against relationships for myself, but I don't think I'm also actively searching. I'm not going outside saying, oh yes, so I need to find a girl this year or something like that, or next time I must be in a relationship. That kind of but I also don't think I'm against it. It's just like, let's see what happens. I'm open to it. But I also feel like there's work I can do on myself to be an even better version of myself in a relationship. You get so, yes. Clinton is not against being in a relationship, but I'm also not in a rush. At the appointed time, everything will fall into place. Nobody's perfect, so I don't need to be perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, I just feel I'm open minded. Let's just see what happens. I'm not, I don't put any pressure, man. She's getting a wish. Yeah. Well, I think it's just the stage of last year. Yeah. I feel we're all getting to that stage, especially at our age. Why? I just like to have to forget things that you're thinking about. Yeah. So, this is not a priority thing. Probably that's why. Probably that's why. And it will come a time, but probably. To be honest with you, people should really thank God I'm very confident. Okay. Because. A lot of people, with the conversations that I engage with, will feel pressure that bruh, constantly people are asking me this, or like, are doing this, they need to be doing this. But I don't think they need to do anything that other people that are doing. Because I know, because I know I'm just fine, you know, on my own. It's eh? I believe that's confidence. It's conf I'm confident that at the right time, things will happen. That's what it is. 
So I'm really not bothered about this certain topic. At the right time, it will happen. That's what I said. It's just that's wild. Um, yeah. It's like, it's not, it's so different. Okay. So, career is good. Dating is good. Yeah. Well, alright. Listen, Gina, I've never been to this place. No, no, right. you're saying. <laughs> Your plan for it was your. I'm open. I'm, I'm not active this section. I'm open. That's what I that mean. That's it. And also, I'm standards. I'm not dropping them. Yeah. So, if any, anything that happens, it means you have met the standards and I feel like, bah, I have to do something more. And the thing is that you said you want to work on before you get into it. Spiritually. You want to tell us? Okay. Spiritually. I feel like I need to be grounded. Okay, well, to really be the best version of myself. So, yeah, I think that's what it is, really. Yeah. But let's see, yes, 2024, we'll be at a year of progress and growth. That's what I'm taking yeah. from this year. This time of the year commonly brings around the thoughts of reflection. So, of course, my year 2023 is running through my mind. And Jennifer is always a good provider of a good listening ear. So, I'm going to get her to speak to her about the way I'm feeling about my year so far and what we're hoping for the next year. Hey! Jamie Lester! Here we are! Sha, sha, sha. Sha, just so that it's the last day of the year, how are we feeling about this year? Um, excited. I don't know why. In my bones, I feel like 2024 is going to be a very good year. Mm -hmm. A year of like happiness, success, and mm -hmm. growth. I can feel in my bones. That's all I really want for 2024 is growth and progress. Like, I really just want to grow, be happy, be happy, be happy with my growth, be happy with like a new accomplishments, mm -hmm. and to generally be happy because, of course, like, mm -hmm. you know, accomplishments can only bring you a certain level of joy. But generally, I just definitely general happiness is always. You know, desirable and yeah. yeah. So general happiness. So yeah. Besides that, health, continued great health, mm -hmm. and growth. I just really want growth, progress. I want to be able to go into the next year and see myself accomplishing new things, exciting mm -hmm. things. You know, mm -hmm. pushing myself to be doing more, and you know, hopefully working with new people, mm -hmm. working in a better direction to where I want to go to. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. what I'm anticipating for next year. But yeah, that's the way I'm feeling. I bet this year was a good year. Mm. Um, it was, yeah. I feel like November really changed my life. Yeah, got closer to God, which is great. Yeah. And I feel very content in life. I feel good. very light. And I feel like 2024, it's just going to be like good things are coming. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's important. That's why today is I'm gonna like I've made like in my notes app like a plan of things I want to achieve in 2024, mm. and I'm just gonna pray those into existence and pray for their success. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. But I think it's important to go in 2024 with a plan. Cause I keep saying it's gonna be a year of success, mm. but the way in which you'll see success is if you achieve your plan. Mm. And I won't know if I achieve my plan if I don't write it down. Yeah. So I just wrote it down. Yeah. And also, my friend said that it's better to write things down. That power of the tongue in that, guys. I know. Even when it, even when it comes down to like the smallest things, sometimes I just see myself like, oh, I need to write out a list of like things that I need to do so that I know, okay, as I'm doing it, I can be cutting them off my list. Because because mm -hmm. sometimes just keeping things in your head you can get confused and be like, think it's more than what it actually is. Mm -hmm. So sometimes just writing it out, like even though this year, I feel like the things that I did set out to accomplish this year, I actually have. Because well, like this year, I was like, I want to try making soup for the first time. Mm -hmm. I did that. Like as much as definitely there's always room for improvement, but at least I've done that. Mm -hmm. Once again, I want to to make I want to make a conscious effort to learn more Igbo. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been making the effort to learn more Igbo. Mm -hmm. So definitely the only way is up from that and I pray to continue that until next year. Mm -hmm. What else was another thing? Then I think just in my career, I'm happy with the, the effort I've put into it this year mm -hmm. and the you know areas that I've pushed myself mm -hmm. to do new things this year. I'm happy mm -hmm. with myself for that. And yeah, and I just hope for even greater things next year. So for 2024, I'm hoping for further growth, progress, and everything positive. Here's to 2024. <laughs>